all right here we are with yet another condition with respect to the standard equation of the circle so in this video we're going to look into what happens to the standard equation of the circle when the circle passes through the origin but or and the center lies on the x-axis at the same time both of them happens at the same time something like this here is the diagram for this particular condition see when the circle passes through the origin here all right uh, some point of the moving point p coincides with the origin in this case and you know that the distance between the central fixed point C and the moving point P is A, which is nothing but the radius of the circle. And at the same time, the center of the circle lies on the x-axis. So when the center of the, uh, of the circle lies on the x-axis, what happens? The h-coordinate of the center, that is uh, C of h, comma k, becomes C of A, comma 0 because the x-coordinate of the center is definitely A, as you can see here. But the y-coordinate is absolutely nothing. It lies exactly on the x-axis. So therefore, the y-coordinate becomes 0. There is no vertical displacement at all. I mean, there is no vertical length at all. It is exactly on the x-axis. And you know that uh, that time, the y-coordinate is 0. So that's the change here. The major change is that h becomes equal to A and k becomes equal to 0. So the standard equation is like this x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equal to a square h becomes a so it'll become x minus a the whole square plus k becomes zero so it'll become y minus zero the whole square which will be equal to a square so the standard equation of the circle when the circle passes through the origin and the central lies on the x-axis will become something like this x square plus a square minus 2ax plus y square equal to a square a square a square gets cancelled so we have x square plus y square minus 2ax equal to 0. So this is what the equation of the circle becomes when it meets this condition. So you can see that it is reduced to x square plus y square minus 2ax equal to 0. All right, so that ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming video with another condition. In that case, I think you have already guessed the circle passes through the origin, but the center lies on the y-axis. That's the only difference in the next video. So we'll see what happens with the standard equation when that happens. Thank you.